Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name is Richard and I'm here with Scott from Controversial Cruising. But as the drinks go in, I'm the tubby buddy and this is Twinky Winky. Twinky Winky. And he snuck off some alcohol from the ship. Not just some, a lot of alcohol. Uh, but we are where? I see straight point. Well, we're in Hunan, Hunan. Alaska, which is home to the Huna people, which, uh, you know, celebrity actually came here first. I was looking it up. An old celebrity ship came here first. Uh, celebrity Mercury or Celebrity Century okay. was the first port here. But this is the only private cruise port for passenger cruise vessels in the United States of America. Wow, I did not know that. Yeah, I, I, I went on Wikipedia before I shot this video. Uh, <laughs> so it's the only private cruise port. Now, not all Alaska cruises come here. Gotcha. You have to go on something longer than seven days to come here because it's just not logistically possible. So you have an eight day from, let's say you have an eight day from Seattle. Which I did or, last year. Or a 11 day from LA or from um, San Fran, San Fran mm -hmm. you might come here. Now, this used to be a pain in the ass to get to because it was a tender port. And it's oh. always been an afternoon arrival, so they made the first dock, this is the first dock that okay. we're in right now, dock, okay. and then the second dock, Disney's in right there. But Ooh. essentially, I like to think of this place as the Costa Maya of the North. Okay. It is a built-up tourist town where the native people got together, kind of built it. No, there's no swimming pool. Okay. But there are gondolas and different things like that, so we're going to go out, we're going to have some reindeer. Oh, now, who, now, who built this port up? Like, so it was actually built by the native people. Okay. So it was built by the native people with minority investments from the major cruise lines. Okay. So about 75% native people. But if you want to talk about logistically, the, the major cruise lines helped us. Okay. So we're going to go out and we are going to explore both inside the port area and then we're either going to take a shuttle or walk. It's a mile and a half. I don't know how I'm feeling about a mile and a half walk. Uh, and we're going to go check out. There's a brewery and some other cool stuff like that. So Ooh, I can't wait. Stay tuned as we get drunk. And kill some reindeer. No, we're not going to kill reindeer. The native people killed the reindeer. Oh, also, of note, I'm going to say this multiple times during this video. Do not buy seafood here. Yes. This is not a seafood port. Everything they get here, they get frozen from Juno. It's going to be fresher in New York City mm -hmm. from Juno than it's going to be here. And fresher tomorrow when we're in Juno. I'm saying. Yeah. But don't buy seafood here. Yes. This is a reindeer port, not a seafood port. Reindeer. So just be aware. We'll see you in town. So, okay. yeah. uh, we didn't go to the closer dock. This is the new dock. Oh. The Let's Two Shop dock. And you have to take the transporter with a Ruffy McRuff face down there uh, to the other side where kind of everything is. is the good news dog? is I think, <laughs> I think there's a restaurant over here that we get some reindeer chili at. Uh, these are Doppelmeyer systems. They are currently stopped. Oh. That's why there's a crowd of people so you might want to wait about an hour before you go out especially the transporter's broken so this is the cable car that's free right here the transporter and that sky collider is the one that's fifty dollars okay so what i think we're going to do is we're going to we'll look for something to do over here for a little bit now where's while the sky line goes away. Take you. all it's at the top of the mountain for 50 bucks a person. Is there something up at the top of the Not mountain? really. Oh, okay. Not really. Okay. Ooh, Pretty much not worth going. But Scott's gonna go uh, pee pee and then we'll uh, catch you. Why, Scott? You didn't go pee pee on the ship, did no, you? No, I didn't go pee pee on the ship. Why you don't go pee pee on the ship? I don't know. I forgot to go pee pee on the ship. Well, I'm gonna go sit by the fire. Okay, you go right sit there. by the fire. Scott's gonna drink his alcohol and go pee pee on the ship. And we'll that. catch you in just a moment's time. Okay. So when the ship just gets here, you pretty much have two choices. Be the first one off or stay on the ship another hour. Yeah, really. uh, Back up a little bit, Scott, uh, because there's people coming out. This is the transporter. This is the free gondola system that gets you over to where the first dock is. Okay. Okay. This line is probably about half an hour to 40 minutes. Yeah. Elsewise, you got a 15-minute walk through the woods. Okay. If you are disabled, if you are handicapped, anything like that, just give up, wait an hour, and come out. Yeah. You shouldn't be out here the first hour that this... We have eight hours anyway, right? I know. So. Here's what I'm trying to say. Give up. Wait an hour. Come out. You'll walk right on the gondola. Yeah. So we're walking not to town now, but we're walking to the original dock. So this is the nature trail to the Huna Cannery. We are with people that can't take this walk. Uh, there is no Wi-Fi. There is no cellular service. There's nothing like that outside. I want to be very clear. So if you miss your party, Scott, you and I could be together all day without them. That's uh, right. It's just the way it works. That's okay. But, you know, it, the people you like in your party, you should keep together. <laughs> the slow people that like Bud Light. <laughs> Uncle Brady. Uh, it like is this. a pretty steep trail. I like this, though. But we will definitely ride the gondola around a few times later today. Okay. Because I love Doppelmeyer gondolas. Oh, look. Oh, look, there's bear activity here. 
Ooh. You know what that means, Scott? I, I see one. I take my shirt off. Yeah. I see one. I see a bear. Let's take I together. See a bear. Look at him. If you see a bear. I see a bear activity. Don't run. Ah! Back away from the bear slowly. As long as you don't molest the cubs, <laughs> the bear does not want to get you. But this is actually a temperate rainforest. The largest, Alaska is the largest temperate rainforest in the world. How do I know that? Because I listened to the guy on the TV this morning. <laughs> Who told me that? It's the Tongas National Forest. Tongas. 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 No, T O N. Oh, Tongas. Tongas. Tongas National Forest. Tongas. So. Tongas. After how many days at sea? We can walk around a little bit. Three. Three days at sea. That many days. Yep. Ish. Yeah. I Almost like exactly this. three. Look at this. This is nice. so beautiful. Little forest. This is nice we'll see you forest. on the other side at the cannery. So there's a lot of excursions you can do here, and the cruise ship companies own the excursion side of this. Okay. So they're making all the money on the excursions. Mm. <laughs> no wonder. So this is like the exploration trail. What are they calling that? Oh, it's like the thing they have on the XL class ships with the rope course kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. You know what we call that on my reviews? What? That is some white people shit right there. <laughs> That's what the white people well, do. Yeah. Like, it looks like a bird cage activity. You know, you ever had a bird? Yeah. Like, oh, there's a rope the bird can walk across. There's some things for the bird to peck on. So, you've got an adventure, adventure guides right there, and they're just kind of a, it does look like the thing on the Excel class and on the uh, MSC, Seascape, Seashore, Seaside, Sea View, the MSC, Sea something glass, um, which is these little rope things. I'm gonna tell you, it's very unlikely they can handle my weight. <laughs> That's why I don't do it. <laughs> Just saying. But yeah, you can pay to do this. I think it's like 40, 50 bucks to do these. Oh, wow. It racks up. Things rack up quick here. Yeah. It's not as bad. You know what's not as bad as? You're going to laugh. It's not as bad as, uh, what's that Royal? Coco K. Oh, oh Coco K. Oh, Coco yeah. K. Uh, not as bad as Coco K. But uh, yeah, you want to do all the activities and stuff here. Things get expensive really fast. But this trail is a lot bigger than it looks. I'm just not going to be doing that because of the hill is all much for me but i don't like sitting sit, sit and terry and waiting in line you'll see those buildings right there that's where the real icy straight starts the original icy straight oh okay so really you know why they sell those 50 dollars passes up the top of the mountain why because <laughs> i got to pay for the second port <laughs> and the transport system they put between the ports True. they're still trying to pay that crap off because that just came out after covid Oh, okay. So all, these, all this transit and the second dock and all that came out after COVID. COVID. Makes sense. What you're going to see right now is what was here before COVID. COVID. Okay, cool. So that's the original Icy Strait, which is what we're going to right now. But the new one, they're kind of going to build it up, I think, over time. But there is nothing at the top of the mountain. It's not worth paying the 50 bucks to go to the top of the mountain. I'm not even doing it today to show you there's nothing. Because there but, is nothing. <laughs> yeah. I met this girl on a ship two years ago, and that was one of the first dates we went on. And I didn't know she had a fear of heights. <laughs> so I took her to the top of a mountain. I'm real smart. You should check those things first. Oh yeah, here we go. This is the end of the zip line. This is the beginning. You see, there's nobody wanting to go over to that area on the cable car. Everybody wants to come to this area. This way, yeah. So it'll reverse later, but we're gonna go out and do the brewery and do everything before that. And here's where they do all the adventure stuff. Most people that work here are actually uh, <laughs> from like America. You know, they, they're like summer jobs that people get yes, here. Yes, they are. You mm -hmm. got a lot of summer jobs, but we got a smokehouse, we got the gondolas, and again, like I said, we're gonna check out some food, but we're gonna avoid seafood. There's at least two places here to eat. There's the smokehouse up here, and then there's the uh, place where they chum the water later for the whales. Ooh, that's so cool. We're gonna definitely check out both of them. We're not gonna get a full meal anywhere because I like to try a little bit everywhere. So we'll get something, we'll try it, we'll get something, we'll try it, we'll get something, we'll try it. That's just kind of like, oh, Duck Point Bar. There's a bar. What time is it? It's wine o'clock somewhere. No, it's actually beer o'clock somewhere. I hope they have Alaskan Amber, but it's unlikely because um, we're in uh, we're in Icy Strait, so they might only sell their own beer. But if they have Alaskan Amber, we're gonna give it a drink. All right, so we're sitting here at the bar, at the first restaurant. I got my reindeer chili. Scott is somewhere. I mean, if he doesn't get here soon enough, I'm gonna drink his reindeer chili. I mean, eat his reindeer chili. It's funny. I'm wearing my carnival shirt. They asked if I'm crew. I pulled out my old celebrity ID. And yes, I mean, I got the crew discount, but I'm not gonna lie. 
I just gave back the crew discount and tip. But you'll see there's a <laughs> discount there. That's the crew discount. I'll take it. I've worked for Celebrity. I'm wearing a Carnival and MSC hat. I give that vibe. Um, so I got my 20% off crew discount and gave that 20% back as a tip. So nobody's really angry there. Um, but let's go ahead. I have my first Alaskan Amber of the cruise. Oh. Oh, so why Alaskan Amber is so good is it doesn't have the bite that other Ambers have at the end. There's just a bite at the end of other Ambers. It doesn't exist with Alaskan Amber. It's my favorite and most crushable beer. Unfortunately, Carnival doesn't seem to have it on board. Ooh. So there's this all you can eat seafood thing that has unlimited beer. But I think one of the two times I'm gonna do it, all you can eat crab legs and stuff like that and uh, and unlimited Alaskan Amber. Then we've got the chili. Now I got mine. I'm not a fan of raw onions. I like cooked onions, but I'm not a fan of raw onions. So I got my reindeer chili right there with uh, cheese. And Scott's got his with onions. I have to go look for Scott. He's waiting for the other members of our party. I told him once you lose someone in Hunan, they're gone. That's why Bill's not here with us, and that's why, hey, I might be here alone the rest of the day, and I might have to eat two bowls of chili. But for right now, I'm gonna enjoy my beer and enjoy that one. I'm gonna advise them that Alaskan Amber's the best one. Scott, I don't know if you tasted the chili on my channel. I think you just tasted it looking at your phone. What were your thoughts on the chili? The chili was amazing. You can't even tell it was reindeer, honestly. I mean, that's a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. That's a good thing. It's hearty, it's filling, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is filling. Plus with the beer, you know Alaskan Amber, right? No, oh, I love Alaskan Amber. Mm. It's a good, it's a, it's, Here, have it's a, a good one. It's a good one. That's that's my uh, second or third, I, I kind of lost track. Oh, it's a good one. It has no bite at the end, I like It has that. no bite. Most Amber beer has a bite, like we were saying. But we're gonna head along, and we're gonna show you the ending of the zip line, mm -hmm. the historic bullshit cannery. You don't know what we're talking about. We're gonna need some donuts. Uh, maybe another snack, and then we're gonna head to town. Okay. And Bill's got some places in town to go to. I don't know town. I know the port. I don't know town. Okay. Uh, so, come along. Yeah. We'll ride along and uh, see what we can find. Hey, yeah. All right, so now we're gonna do a quick tour of uh, what's here in the Cannery Museum and everything like that. We'll do it in one shot. Okay. Just so you can see. There is a restaurant here, but I think the Smokehouse is a better menu. But where you are right here, if you come here around dinner time, this is where the dock is. They like to chum the water around dinner time, and you're gonna see orcas and sperm whales and stuff pop up here oh, instead of going cool. whale watching. Uh, but let's go ahead, we're gonna go one shot. That's a nice little tip. Shh, don't go whale watching. If you haven't already understood, there's nothing I hate more in Alaska than whale watching. It is a lie yep. meant to trick the white people because uh -huh. black people aren't that dumb. <laughs> That's a compliment, black people. <laughs> like you want to see, you ask a black person, you want to see a whale, you know what they go? I go see world. <laughs> <laughs> I true. respect you. I respect you. I'm on your side. I'm not making fun or anything. Uh, but let's go into the uh, the cannery dock. So this is the Icy Strait Museum. So this was an old fish cannery. Pretty okay. much everything that was here has now moved to Juneau for canning and stuff like that. But uh, historically, it was Icy Strait Museum. Yeah. The cannery museum, you said? Yeah, there's a cannery. You'll see the cannery equipment and all that. Oh, oh, cannery. So, like but canning fish. Can. Canning fish. Yeah. Because it comes from Juno. I mean, oh look, Scott, Scott. They have the Devil's Club plane relief. Oh. Are you familiar with that leaf? I am familiar with that leaf. But well, we usually, wait till Juno. Usually it's a little more brown. Uh, botanicals. Botanicals. Mm. It's the devil's lettuce, doesn't it? It is. Or a derivative, a derivative of. The devil's lettuce. <laughs> More museum ahead. Okay. More museum. But like a lot of this equipment stuff, here, come this way, Scott. A lot of this equipment stuff is original. Tungus jacket. So like, you'll see this canning equipment here. It's just kind of left Whoa. here. Left here from back in the day. Whoa. Hey, Scott, they got something that you and I can play for free that they want to charge $55 for. What is that? Cornhole. You familiar with that game, Scott? Yes, I am familiar with that game. You're always the whole, aren't you? <laughs> That's a bad joke. That's a bad joke. Because we switch. 
<laughs> Scott has a nickname during cornhole. Scott, you know your nickname during cornhole? What is that? Is it in? Is it in? Normally it's not. Uh. Okay, you see we got the, the old docks. This feels, you're gonna laugh, I'm gonna, when we get to Zanetti later, I'm gonna ask him a question. This reminds me of Jaws, you know Jaws? The, the movie, shark. oh yeah. It's a whole little womp, womp. museum. Womp, womp. More canning, look at this. Yeah, they're trying to show you how they canned the fish. Everything like wow. that. Wow. <sighs> YouTube says no to violence for fish. Fish violence. Stop fish violence. Sockeye salmon. That is their uh, animal choice here. And you'll see more of the canning line. This is OG. So, so they prep the sockeye over there. They bring it up. This is where they do the actual canning. This is the actual canning equipment that was used here at the cannery. So you see can, 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 ceiling can, everything like that, can. Yeah, wow, can, the can, actual and then the cans are placed in the racks and pushed in the steam cookers. That's how they cook it. They cook all the cans and the retarts. Retarts. Retorts. Retorts. And that's an idea of the museum. But remember, I told you, Scott, I told you there were donuts here. Oh, yes, donuts. Oh, the line for the donuts looks crazy right now. I think we're going to wait for the donuts. Yes, this ends with donuts. Well, Wait. it doesn't end. It should, but should begin stop, with donuts. donuts. No, the line little, for donuts is a crazy right now. Oh, little gen donuts. What kind of donuts? All kinds of donuts. No, oh. I don't like look, donuts Look, you see, look, no, what? I don't like donuts too much. Look at the different flavors. Oh, wow, look at, oh, oh. Plain That's... cake, powdered sugar, snickerdoodle, apple pie, spiced apple cider, pumpkin pie, butterscotch, Werther's, maple, maple bacon. Yeah. Yeah. Now, isn't that the one that you said was the, the one to bacon. try, the yeah, maple we'll, bacon? We'll get it later. Yeah, 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 we'll get it later. We're not going to get it right now. That's okay. Maple It'll bacon, where is it? It'll be open. I'm not waiting yes. in this line right now. Again, Scott, the most important thing, if you ever see a line, just come back later. Yeah, come back, come back, back later. later. Well, a lot of people want donuts, apparently. A lot of people want this. donuts. They must they, be good. They are good. Okay. I've been, selling, I've been selling the donuts on this video, haven't I? You have been. So, I mean, you know about the donuts, but we gotta find the rest of our party and we're gonna head downtown ish now. Yes, um, this was not downtown yet. This is, we're not even. No, 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 no. no. we're in the fake port. Yes. We're in, Co you've been to Costa Maya before, yes, right? Yes. We're yes. in Costa Maya. <laughs> we gotta go downtown Costa Maya to buy our antibiotics. Yeah. I'm kidding about the antibiotics part. Hey, look, cans. <laughs> They're saying, you know, yeah. cans. It's funny because it's it, funny. It's funny because it's funny. They do also have a crab place, but Scott, don't buy the crab here. Come also, 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 don't buy the crab at Tracy's in Juno. Tomorrow we're gonna do a blog in Juno, probably on Scott's channel, uh, so you won't see it here. You see a short of tomorrow here, and we're gonna go get some crab and the good crab. Do you like crab? Yeah. We're gonna get some crab in the good cheap cat crab place. Well, cheap proverbially. Okay. Crab ain't cheap. <laughs> that is, uh, yeah. Especially in Alaska. Let's be honest. But here, let's take a look at the menu here real quick. Maybe they got a clam chowder that we but can try. But don't come here and get crab. We're just oh, showing no, you the no. menu. Yeah, the fresh Dungeness crab, locally harvested. Now, salmon. how fresh is that Dungeness crab? Mm, be real. You can get fresher in New York City. Wow. What I mean by that is they'll fly it directly to New York. This shit comes on a boat eventually from Juno. It's it, locally harvested in season with distinctive sweet flavor. Yeah, do you know what they're charging for that? I, I can't even. 20 bucks? I can't More? even. 25 yeah. bucks? Oh, God, no. 30 bucks? Oh, God. 40? Chicken jambalaya. That actually seems good. Non-seafood lovers, huh? I'm a non-seafood lover. I might get some chicken chambalaya later. Okay. Not right now. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> which, 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 no pants, good chicken chambalaya. We're gonna check the prices. We're gonna find the rest of our party. So you see right here, let me show you something really funny right oh, here. Oh, behind us. Let me show you some history right here, Scott. You see this dock right here? Yeah. And you see that dock right there? Yeah. Those are the original docks for Icy Strait, because it was a tender port. 
So this is where you'd get off on the tenders before they built those Disney docks and the other dock and all that. Wow. This was a tender port. This is where, when I came to Icy Strait before, when I worked for Celebrity, these were the docks for the tenders. The ships would float out there and they'd have to tender people to Icy Strait. Then they built wow. the first dock and they built the second dock and they built the gondola system and they did all that kind of stuff like that. So, so interesting. Yeah. But I remember coming, coming right. Yes? There are two of them, so that makes it a paradox. paradox. Oh. Waka waka. Bill, come here, come here. We said we were going to talk about you. Uh, what does this whole area remind you of? Think of a movie. Give me one movie. It reminds me of the Fisherman's Wharf section of California Adventure. Bill. Close, but a little, little, little better, a little better. You're getting close to Fisherman's Wharf. There's another Fisherman's Wharf session. Should it remind you of something about a boat? Womp womp. You're not getting Jaws themes from this? Womp womp. It's very Jaws in nature to me. Womp womp. Second, you start screaming shark, we got a problem on the 4th of July. I don't think there is sharks here. This <laughs> guy. Yeah. We'll see you. We'll talk about how we get downtown in a minute. I might get some jambalaya. I don't know. We'll see. Hey, getting a group of five people together to go somewhere is like herding a set of cats. So I decided my best time is spent in the donut line because it told everybody I'd be in the donut line. So we might be alone for the rest of the day. This is the problem with going out with a group of people. It's better when you go out with two because five people is like herding a set of cats. So just be aware. Uh, you, you're better off going out as a couple and going out with a couple and a friend and another friend because now I'm ready to go. The exit to the places right around here. They do have a tribal dance show. Talk about that real quick. This is something that the cruise line sells uh, or you can buy it you know, on your own. Um, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a tribal dance show. It's not great. It's not terrible. It just kind of is. They talk about the bear and the eagle and the... the, the the raven and how it all relates to the culture because those are essentially the gods for the Indian people, the Huna, Huna people. They're basically the gods for them. But uh, we've pretty much seen this whole area. You do have a zip line that's all the way on top of the mountain. You got a gondola, which we'll ride the gondola a little bit later when the lines go down. But for now, we're actually gonna leave the port area. Again, it's like a Costa Maya. We're gonna leave the port area and we're gonna head to downtown Huna, Alaska. This is Icy Strait, which happens to be in Huna. So we'll head to actual Huna now, which supposedly has a brewery. I'll just call the Icy Strait Brewing Company, which is really confusing because we're in Icy Strait. We're done. Maybe we'll sort it out when we get there. We'll see. All right, so we got some apple pie and maple bacon donuts. You can kind of see, kind of sort of see. There we go. That's how the little donuts are made. It's a fully automated thing, and they have different powders and stuff they put in. So apple pie, AP, maple bacon, AB, MB, and I'm gonna get reviews for everyone. See how these are, but you can see, whoa, it's a little too close. The line just kinda goes on and on and on. Okay, have we found everyone yet, yes, Scott? Yes, we have. They're, they're all there. Are you a moron? Yeah, kind of. Do you not realize that you're coming right back through this gift shop later? Yes. And yet you bought shit that you want to carry around all day? Yes. Are you a moron? Yes. Slap yourself in your face. There we go. Slap yourself again. Slap Zanetti for fun. There we go. You slept Okay, okay, oh, hold on. June, who's got hands? Who's got hands? Okay, you're gonna open, okay, take one of those, and we're gonna, okay. That's the uh, maple bacon. Everyone gets a maple bacon and everyone gets an apple pie. So go ahead. Maple There's bacon. six and six. Maple bacon. No, no, no we're going to maple bacon first, June. Okay. Keep that one sealed. Maple you can use your... It smells, bacon. smells like... like uh, I smell the powdered bacon. sugar. A little bit of bacon. A little bit. A little bit of bacon. Okay, little, Brady, you grab one too. Little oh tiny God, particles of bacon. Amazing. Little tiny particles. All right, ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Mmm. I like it pretty good. Mm. That's crunchy. Uh, that's that's bacon. Amazing. That's a bacon. Hmm? That is amazing. Oh, yeah. I know, there's extras for the tubby. <laughs> oh. uh, now apple pie. I don't even like donuts. I think I will, I will like my, I think I, I will like, like apple pie. No, I'm, I'm not a fan of apples. So. I love apple pie. Go ahead. Brady loves apple pie. Mm. I, don't not, I don't like, like apple. apple, thank you. He's passing. Okay. I'll drink your beer instead. Mm -mm. Have my beer. Ooh, that's good. 
There's two left now. It tastes like Apple Jacks. Are we ready? Yeah. Oh, I already ate one. Sorry. <laughs> oh, That's my better God. than the maple bacon. Oh, that is good. All right, June, you get the second extra. You are the greatest, oh. Richard. Uh, so you got it done. it on video. What just happened in my mouth? Uh, oh I, I finished. Oh my god. <laughs> Scott said, what just happened in his mouth? I said, I finished. Oh. Did you swallow? Dude, I did. So it's a mile and a half to town. Five dollar ticket. They've got a shuttle bus here. Uh, everybody's just finishing from the carnival ship. They're just finishing in the port. So they're going downtown right now. Um, drops you off at the, uh, the wharf in the middle and picks you up at the brewery. There's only one wharf, one brewery. Fortunately, as this bus leaves, there might be another bus for us. Oh, we got another bus. We're not sure. No, that's yeah, no, that's our bus. Yeah, that's our bus. Our bus. Right here. Yeah, if it stops there, so we might be able to get on this next bus. That would be very efficient. Very easy if we can. If not, we'll wait for another bus, and 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 another bus. Wants to make, stop me, make, make me stop skipping. And another bus, another bus. So you gotta smack, oh, there we go, thank you. Bud Light. Yes, Where's your Bud Light? You don't have a Bud Light in here. don't have a Bud Light. They don't sell Bud Light here. It's a lot here, wait. Beer. Try that. Right. It's a little warm, it's a little piss warm, but realistically, it should taste better than Bud Light. Give it a sip. Was this good as the white? It's not bad. Not bad. Brady says it's not bad. Not bad. That's my favorite beer. I think it's my favorite commercialized beer, but you can only get it to the wet. It's Alaskan Amber here. June didn't try it either. It's probably better than what you had on the white. It doesn't have sweet. the bite. It doesn't that's have the bite of most amber beers. And that's not sweet. Oh, that's good. That's not. That's sweet. the beer. I would drink that. That's okay. So the beer that made me start drinking beer was Grolsch. You ever had Grolsch before? Mm -mm. Green bottle, got a little pop cap, it's a little funny looking. But the beer that made me like beer is Alaskan Amber. It's kind of weird. I didn't drink beer before I started working on ships. I uh, hated beer. And then beer was the only option where they build the ships. There's a church. I don't know how many people know this. There's a church out where they build the ships. It's called the Seafarer's Mission, right? And you can't drink on the ship until the cruise line owns it as crew. So you have to go to church every night to drink. <laughs> and there's one type of beer. Perfect sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We partied, we drank, we did it all in church. It was in a, a shipyard, shipyard in the middle of Germany that there was nothing for a hundred miles around, which all they do is build ships there out, out in the middle of Germany. Um, it's called Maya Werft. Um, so, yeah, Maya Werft just builds that. And where was I going with this? Uh, yeah, I learned to drink Grolsch there. Because if you didn't like Grolsch, you drank Grolsch. And if you really, really didn't like Grolsch, what do you drink, June? Grolsch. 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 Yeah. So I think we're gonna make it on this bus. And I've never been to downtown Hunan before. Bill did a little bit of research. So there's a brewery, there's a place to eat, stuff like that. So uh, buses run. Our... <laughs> Look, June. fat girl, fat man, I like doing that. also a Mexican restaurant. How did, you, how, did you, how did you get involved with Tiny Man? I was tiny when I made Oh, you were tiny? And then you grew on him? I did. <laughs> June, June, June Dunn grew on him. That's all I'm saying. Let's, uh, I think, yeah, we're getting on this bus. I don't know if I can have beer on the bus. I'll offer it to the driver. Yes, you can. Oh, I can? How do you know? The beer so another guy got on with like a margarita. Splash, 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 splash. It's run by Alaska Independent Coach Tours all through the town. We got the newer bus that has air conditioning, not the school bus that's broken down. No air conditioning. Shut up, Bill. We'll see you in town. On our ride over, there's a bunch of eagles there, so I started singing the Hotel California song. <laughs> I thought that was appropriate, but yeah, we're literally in a school bus. And yeah, let's see if we can zoom in and see the eagles. Welcome to the Hotel California. Brady's, Brady's, Brady's jumped in on that eagles too, right? Where is Brady? He's right there. He's looking. They were circling. They were circling. But yeah, this should be like a three, three or four minute ride. So we are in downtown Huna. There ain't much here. We done passed the ferry terminal. Ferry terminal takes you back to Juneau. And here's the thing. The question we're gonna answer in this video, is it worth taking that $5 ferry ride back? Yeah. Uh, not ferry ride, bus ride. Bus ride, yeah. Is it worth it? It says it's a 35 minute walk. Downtown Huna is a two minute walk. Point of interest to in the harbor, which is where we are. 
we're gonna go that way and there's some gift shops and stuff like that there's a guy that says behind the fun yeah that's you kill all the fun don't you Bill I create the fun I make the fun I'm the man behind all of the fun if you are ever having fun in life it's because of me that's good. You're, you're getting screwed by him in the butt because <laughs> you're behind the fun. <laughs> Secret Asian man like that joke. I do. So you like that joke. joke. Okay, Asian man. Joke. We're going to go get the Mexican food. Oh, I thought we don't get fish here. I mean, we don't get fish in that little port area. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay. Uh, we might have local fish here. Okay. They just, they can't, here's, here's the certain thing to understand. Okay. They can't catch enough crab here to serve the number of people that show up there. Got it. If you've got a small restaurant here, maybe they have a boat and they go out and they do it. Okay. This is much lower volume out here than in that port where there's Understood. lines upon lines upon lines. Oh, look, Bill needs to get a drink. I kind of want to have that Coke and I want, wait. This is the weirdest vending machine ever. Does it actually work? I don't freaking know. It's got Coke, it's got Pepsi, it's got Sprite. I mean, it shouldn't work. You should try it. Because it's got like RC Cola. Wait, that thing doesn't work. You should try it. It's not it. plugged into anything, Scott. Solar powered, right? It says 24 hour surveillance. It says available 24 hours. Hey, Scott, there's a little problem. No plug. Hold on, I take a picture of you. Show the plug. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a no plug. It's a no plug with no pants. No pants, no plug, no problem. Yeah. Oh. That's a good short. I'll see you in a second. I am in downtown Huna, Alaska, and I came across this soda machine. It says, warning, 24-hour video surveillance. I'm looking for the video surveillance. Also, very interestingly, they have Mountain Dew, Diet Pepsi, Pepsi, Coke, Pepsi, Pepsi, they get double Pepsi, Sprite, Diet Coke, and Dr. Pepper. Well, if I put my money in that machine, where am I going to get it? Also, it's nondescript cola. Someone's ripped the logo off. So I put some money in. Oh, no, it doesn't work. You know why? It's a, it's a not plugged in. But all I have to do is rub my foot on the carpet, and then I touch my tongue. Let me get soda. Just saying. Scott, so we're coming up on a gift shop. Yes. What's the name of the gift shop? Uh, Tor Drink Snack Gift. Actually, Tor, I don't know if that's what it Tor, is. Tor Drink Snack Gift. Tor Drink Snack, snack Gift. I don't see the gift. Oh, yeah. Oh, gift. Tor Drink, drink. Snack Gift. Tor, Tor Drink Snack, snack gift. gift. Tor Drink Let's Snack Gift. Let's go check out Tor Drink Snack, snack gift. gift. It smells like gas. It does smell like gas. They have whale watching. Hey, they got a butterfly. They have a butterfly, looks delicious. Welcome. We are open. Hold on. Oh, wow. Oh. oh, God, go. Hey, look, we can get some non knitted octopuses. Non knitted Okay. Take a hike. Juno, Alaska calendar. You want to find a moose? Yeah. Oh. Fudge. That's a fudge company. They have drinks too. Oh, wow. Shop by HTA. Oh, oh, this thing's got all the money. I mean, should we take it? It's, it's not tied money. down. It's a not tied down. Push your card into the slot. Yeah. We got, oh, look, we have a working soda machine. Unlike the last one. It has a door. Ooh. Fudge. No. That's from. They, they, they import the fudge from Wisconsin? That's a little weird. Sorry, let's dance. Some fizzy coke. Yeah, no, I agree. What else do we have? I think you need one of these. Oh! Oh, do they make it in bear size? You want to give this to Bill Why I go pay? Oh, Bill, congratulations. You are now on camera personality. Extra large. That will not fit myself. It's a pretty big one, Rich. No. Wait, is it just the top or it's the top and the bottom? I think it's a, like an oversized thing. How much is wait. it? I don't know. $65 US. Long sleeves. It'll keep you warm. Just what you want. It will keep me warm. Well, maybe we'll go back to that in a minute. Let's see what else we got here. Alaska, 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 Alaska. Cute little gift shop. Nothing special. 
But when you're the only gift shop in town, you know, I guess it works out for you. Please use other door. Yeah. Interesting little uh, setup right here in Huna, Alaska. So like we don't get a huge meal anywhere. We get little meals and this is Osa Gordito, a taste of Texas. I'm not sure what we're gonna get because um, I haven't seen the menu yet, but um, oh look, they, they support the Space Force. <laughs> they support the Space Force. Okay. Hello. I gotta look at the menu and then I'll figure out. I don't like fish. What would you recommend other than fish? Uh, well, we have a barbecue sandwich on special today. Okay, what's, that, what's on the barbecue sandwich? We have brisket and we also have pulled pork. Is it on one sandwich? No, it's, uh, uh, it's an option oh. of one or oh, okay. the other, yes. I'm going to get, uh, you have different barbecue sauces or just one? Okay, you have classic outlaw or no, that's, okay, yes. I want the pulled pork barbecue sandwich. Already? Any options come with that? Like you can add fries or like that? Or how's that uh, yeah, so you get a side of fries or smoked corn salad or bear bites. What the hell are bear bites? <laughs> it's a mixture between, a, oh, it's fish. Oh, so it's fish, okay. It, yeah. Okay, so let's uh, let's get the, uh, the pulled pork with a uh, side of fries. Alrighty. Anything to drink, any sweets? Where are the sweets there? Uh, we have churros and then we also have um, like a creme brulee cheesecake thing? Cheesecake? Creme brulee cheesecake thing. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll take right. one of those. Creme brulee cheesecake thing. And then we'll see how that is. Okay, so while I'm waiting for my barbecue, I decided to gather the stray cats that were in front of that gift shop. And I found something real strange. A stretch Hummer in a town that's got 900 people in it. I mean, eh, maybe it can be used for tours now and again. But uh, why is there a stretch Hummer? What does the stretch hummer even look like on the inside? Can't really tell. They blacked out them windows good. But yeah. <laughs> Welcome to America. Stretch hummer. Just saying. We'll see how that barbecue is. They're making it right now. I got some pulled pork and a creme brulee cheesecake type of thing. We'll see. So I am in Hunan, Alaska at a place called Orso Gordito. They're a barbecue place. But some of you might not know, I just found out what orso gordita means. Gordito means fat, and orso means bear. So I'm at a fat bear barbecue place. And what am I? Who's the fat bear? That fat bear? This fat bear. Nobody knows. Right, so I got a deep spot in my heart for food trucks. We got our fat bear, which is what I am. Mm. Nice barbecue sauce. Nice handcut fries. So the pork without barbecue sauce. Nice pork. And I got, I'll bring your review up in a little bit. It's like cheesecake flan like thing that they make once you get, Bill. You got brisket. Mm -hmm. How's the brisket? Amazing. Take brisket a little, tacos. little pinch. Yep. Mmm. Nice and juicy. Yeah. And you said that other thing you got was fish, right? Yeah, so these are um, called uh, bear bites, which are right. salmon and uh, halibut croquettes. Oh, ah. wow. But they are wonderfully delicious. They are ridiculously hot right now because they're deep fried. And why did you get those, Bill? Because... No, God damn it! there's a joke there. You got the salmon and the halibut croquettes. Why did you get those, Bill? For the halibut? There we go! I knew he'd know the punchline there. Don't worry, I don't have paid actors. You know why I don't have paid actors? I don't pay them. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Bill said I gotta try one of these uh, bear, what are they called? Bear? Croquettes. Bear croquettes. They're salmon and halibut. I don't love salmon or halibut, except I'll eat fish in Alaska. It's kind of like a, not, not trying to insult cats. Kind of tastes like cat food. Kind of tastes like fried cat food. I don't like fish. I didn't spit it out, it's gone. But also, it tastes like fried cat food. I think they're delicious, you want one? Scott, you wanna try? They're really good. Come yeah, on, Scott, you, hold you on. You like fish at all. All right, I do like fish. I do fish. Go ahead. Try the fried cat food, Scott. Oh, hold on, there we go. I disagree. 
I do not think they taste like fried cat food. I think they're phenomenal. Well, I don't like fish, so I went with fried cat food. Mm. Bill, these are good. Right? Bill, these are phenomenal. I still think fried cat food. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm a member of a, the Distribute Wealth family, so I need a drink. But I'm gonna get it from somewhere else. Just to distribute wealth across. You get some cowboy oh, no, coffee. Oh, go ahead. No, you need a sauce. Sauce is so spicy. Is Barbecue sauce, a little spicy. Yeah, it's a little spicy. Really good so the croquettes. No? Fries? Barbecue sauce? Wow. Oh my god. I'm I don't do fish. You don't do they don't taste don't like fish. They taste like No, they really don't taste like fish. They taste like cat food. No, no they you're don't. an idiot. They don't no, taste I'm like not an idiot. They taste like cat food. What? Bear croquettes or bear something croquettes like that? Are... Croquettes. The bear croquettes. They're up there. They're really good. They think it's like cat food. It's like cat food. They're really good. I need a drink, my mouth's a little on fire. Okay. So now, I got flan cheesecake, and I got these assholes here saying that, look, that my flan cheesecake looks like Fancy Feast. And I said, no. Oh, you like flan? Not really. Take a bite. That's unique. I don't really taste a whole lot of flavor. I mean, there's a, okay, I taste a slight caramelization at the end. Um, so like caramel cat food. Caramel cat food is the same. No, I, I say it tastes like um, curdled cheese. I don't know cheesecake is. It's not supposed to be curdled. I think that's flan. That flan is what, is what makes it curdled. I mean, that's actually pretty good. It's flan. I just, I know I don't enjoy flan, so. Mm. I'm good. Just like you don't enjoy fish, so that you think fish tastes like cat food. It does taste like cat food because it is cat food. And I think that tastes like uh, curdled cheese. Hey, Bill. Most of what people feed to cats <coughs> is what animal? Uh, I don't know. <coughs> it's fish. It's fish. They feed nasty fish parts to cats. Nasty fish parts. That's all I'm saying. All right, so the question is, are you still hungry on this tour? We've got another place called The Fisherman's Daughter. Again, the goal is there's five of us. We're kind of sharing everything we've got here to kind of, uh, so we're not gonna have one big meal. We're gonna have five small meals. Uh, I'm gonna see, I'm not a fish person, but if they got something, I got from the sea, I got, yeah. I should be able to find something to try here. We'll see what we got and I'll let you know. The Fisherman's Daughter. Una, Alaska, at least that's not the fat bear. That's all I'm saying. Scott got a broccoli salad here. This is apparently what they're known for. Okay, so go ahead, Scott. Try your broccoli salad. I got fried mac and cheese balls. Scott got a broccoli salad. That's why I am oh, wow. the, that's why I am the fat bear. Wow. And he is the skinny twink. This is good though. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I don't like broccoli. I'm just gonna, what's on it? Salad and broccoli. Oh look, Bill. We brought some broccoli salad oh, over to you. No, go get it from Scott's plate if you want it. Scott's available for I make the magic food of here. I know. Oh. <coughs> and we have her. Uh, mac and cheese balls. With mac and cheese with bacon and some big old balls. With the sauce. Oh my. Mmm. Oh, this is that good. Very hot. But also, a little spicy too. Is it spicy? The sauce is. A little spicy. I don't think the meat, the thing is without sauce. Too hot to eat right now? I do have to eat right now. I'll get you Bill's opinion in just a moment when it cools the hell down. The balls. You like balls in your mouth? Panko's good. The panko's very good. Panko breadcrumbs. I'll come back to you on the thoughts on the balls. 
Now we're gonna take a seven minute walk over to the brewery here in Hona, Alaska. So I believe that uh, Mr. Freeze lives in this town. They've got to antifreeze and used oil. We are walking back from the way we once, once come, come. Uh, and I think we're gonna go to the last place in town. Unless we find something along the way. See, there's a hardware store that looked pretty funny. But we're headed to the brewery, Icy Straight Point Brewing, which we're not in Icy Straight. We're in Hunan. Uh, also, for some reason, there are south, south, southeast extinguishers. Oh, that's an exterminators. There's a fire extinguisher company with a very happy fire extinguisher shooting himself off. There might be some euphemism here. I don't know. Looks like he's trying to make himself go off. If you get the joke, you get the joke. But uh, we're headed around the corner. It's about a seven minute walk. Bus dropped us off right over here. But it's gonna pick us up over at the brewery. Last bus is at 7.30. It is 6.04 now. Should give us more than enough time to grab a flight. Uh, then go through uh, Icy Straight again. We're gonna take the cable car, the free one. Cause it'll be quiet now, cause not everyone's getting off the ship. Um, I took the $50 one before. It's just not worth it. But uh, we'll talk about the difference when we get there. But for now, we're walking to the brewery and you know, if we happen to go by their local version of Costco, it's not Costco. Costco's in Juno. If you happen to go by their local version of Costco, might jump in if it's open. Show you around. We got a gift shop here. It's called Hunan Treasures. Hunan's premier gift shop. Let's see what they got. Hunan Treasures open till five. It's currently six. I know. Five normally for the cruise ships. We got some great little gifts. You can get a dog chew toy. Dog chew toy. Ulu knives, which you can't bring on your cruise ship. Captain? What's up? Are you the captain? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. Not of crib ships, but of other things. Captain, captain underpants. Oh, huh, puffins. They're delicious. No puffin. Oh, right there. They're delicious. No, no puffin. No puffin. Where? No puffin. You're right. That's a cute sign, though. No puffin. I agree. You've never seen that before? It's a standard Alaskan sign. We got totems and all that. Good place to stop by if you got the weight in your suitcase. I ain't got the weight in my suitcase. There's a shuttle bus coming by, dropping off a boatload of people. Uh -huh. Downtown, to restaurants to take forever. Um, you're not gonna, you're not gonna believe me. I, th I thought that bear, the big fat bear, Gordo, Gordo Oro. I thought that was a good, uh, good stop. Um, but, uh, oh, we got, we got a brewery, I think. Well, that's where they make the totem poles. Gotta go up the road. I mean, there's so much traffic here. If you cross this road, you're going to get hit. You get hit here, there's no hospital in town. Ah, okay. Your body ends up on a three-hour ferry ride in Juneau. It does. Three and a half hours. Uh, three hour. Actually, you, probably yeah. So they're making a totem pole here. They only make the totem pole till four. Visitors, please sign in for the Totem Pole Project. It's kind of cool. You can see one under construction. Um, yeah, I'm just taking you along on the walk. Not sure what Bill found to take a picture of. But he did find something. What did you find to take a picture of, Bill? All the kayaks? A dump truck? The Tongas? Federal Credit Union, still open. Look at that, Tongas FCU. If you wanted it. City of Hunan, maybe that's City Hall coming up. I think we'll see you at the brewery, unless there's something fun there. It's a funny one. Let's say something goes wrong here. This is their courthouse. Look at that. This is the Alaska court system. It's like a portable. Reserve parking for court employee. This is literally their courthouse. This little tiny, little tiny shack right here. But I guess like, oh, that's the, that's the courtroom. See where the judge sits and everything? That's funny. That's really funny if you can't see that. Um, 
shows you a town that's normally got uh, 900 people in it. <laughs> it looks like a normal court courtroom. That's all I'm saying. We got a little bit more until we get to the brewery. Did you look in the courtroom? No, I saw the courtroom. Payments and drop boxes, city of Huna business. I checked this box the other day. Why are you going to massage? Book a massage? Yes. All right. Onwards and upwards to the brewery. So the last stop on our downtown tour is also where the bus is going to pick us up. This is the Icy Street Brewing Company. Bill is forcing me to back up for some reason. Because uh, I'm in his picture. Okay, cool. Uh, this is the Icy Street Brewing Company. It's also the pickup for the bus back to Icy Strait. I don't know why they didn't build this on site. If they're using the name, not sure why this wasn't built inside the walls of, uh, of the compound that the cruise ship was in. If ships are in port 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., perfect. So if ships are in port, it's open from 10 a.m. Elsewise, it's only open three hours a day. Wow. Welcome to my brewery. <laughs> oh, no, you don't look like a native people. You don't look like a native people. He said, welcome to his brewery. We're going to have a seat, and we're going to drink some beer here. We'll let you know. Small bites. Oh, they do have food. Reindeer chili. I bet you that's the same stuff we got back at the other place. Welcome to Dumb Alaska Law 101. You can only have 36 ounces of beer or less ounces, I don't know the ounces of liquor. I think it's like eight ounces of liquor in each place that actually makes it. Would you like to comment? You turned on your microphone, Bill. Go ahead. Here in Alaska, they've had problems with alcoholics in the past. You know why? They didn't go to the meetings. See, the problem is most Alcoholics Anonymous meetings are at sundown. When's the sun go down here? Sometimes it doesn't. I mean, down here, you might have technically a sunset in the summer, but the sun will be rising, or at least it'll always be bright out. There's always twilight, no matter what. It never yep. gets completely dark sometimes. We're not quite there yet this no, trip. No, that's, that's yeah. why you can still see them on the yeah. lights. But uh, toward the end of June, if you're here, it doesn't really get yeah, dark so, enough. So what they do is they mark what you got on these little cards. And, I mean, you can just go pretend well, it's on, like the, on the front, though. It, it shows you it's one, oh. two, three. See the red one? That's a check this mark. Is a state law. Oh, God. The good news is we got some extra cards. So we're here. We're here. Get used to it. I wanted to say another keyword, but I'm not going to say that. Uh, but uh, they don't put up with those in Alaska either. Uh, so uh, let's drink our beer. I got the half, and you got what? What did you get? I got the blonde. Cheers. Half and blonde. Stupid effing rules in Alaska breweries. But guess what? We do our three here, and then we can walk right down the street. Well, ride right down the street, back to the other place, and drink as much as you want, because they don't make it there. Dumbest thing in the world. You go to a bar that serves this stuff, no limit. You come to here that makes the stuff, limit. I think they're collecting soda can pull taps. That's all no. I'm saying. Honestly, I, I don't think the law has anything to do with alcoholics. I was making that up. It, it has to do with being, with a, allowing the brewers to actually serve. Because in the old days, right. if you brewed beer, you could not serve at all. Right. So that's the difference. It's a distribution thing. Alcohol has to go through distribution. Used to be limited in Florida, too. And then they said, you could sell it to go during the coup. Yeah, COVID changed a lot, but evidently not here. Not in Alaska. That's all we're saying. All right, so we got uh, we got beer number two. Uh, Bill doesn't have a... He hasn't started on beer number two yet. But why, why do you have a fuzzy thing on your... I know what that's for, but you have your mic on too? That's for the wind. I know, but that's your mic. My mic. All right, Scott. My mic sounds nice, check one. My mic sounds nice, check two. You can do it. My mic Say sounds it. nice, check three. Cheers. Bye -bye. No, I'll try again. Oh, it starts with the C. My mic it's not cheers, though. Nice. Cheek. No. Check seven. Wait, I'll shake you. What's the other C word that relates to beer? Congaloosh. No, that starts with K. Carnival. Carnival. Captain. Chug, chug. 
chug, chug. Ole, ole, ole. Chug, chug, chug. Ole. Oh, he won, and the small Asian man wins. Congratulations. Wait, the small Asian man had less beer than I did. And still, he won. I still won. Hey, you did not specify the rules. Hey, Asian man. Yes. You know what it's time to do, Mr. Tubby 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 Buddy? What is it? Again, again. <laughs> We're starting with two full beers this time. No, I ain't chugging it though. Shark bait, Omaha. Hoo-ha! 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 What's the name of this place? Hoo-ha? This is Icy Lindsay Lohan Brewing Company. No, no. Hoo-na. Hoo-na. Right? Even though we're not in Icy Street. Uh Uh-oh. No, you got a new card, Brady? He is. He is? I'm going to get warm for her. Uh oh, no, we need to collect all the Pokemon cards. You need completed Pokemon cards from every Pokestop. PG. That was impressive, actually. What? I was like, no, man. That was good. That was disgusting. <laughs> you can tell me whether it's good or disgusting in the comments, and if you say it's disgusting, you can go watch a family friendly channel. Yeah, but here's the thing you guys cannot smell how bad it smells right now. It's really bad. Really bad. Well, because I've been eating some weird shit. Today. Oh, God. And it all came up in that burp. The problem is. One more strike I have left. I have a one more strike till I finish my Pokemon card from now. You already had your three. No, things. try again, Bill. Is it your three? No. One more Pokemon strike. Bill's not going to survive another beer. I need to get another beer and then I need to chug it again, again. We'll see which one we're getting in just a moment's time. All right, Scott, I have finished well, my Pokemon card. No one else at this table has finished their Pokemon card because you're not a degenerate, and you're not a degenerate, and you're not a degenerate, and he's Asian. Uh, True. No, no finished Pokemon. No card. finished Pokemon. But you did say something again last time. What'd you say? Again, again. Chug, 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 chug. Oh boy. Yeah. We don't fuck around here on No Pants Profits. <laughs> I see. Hey, what if I could check they the make the beer. Around. They make the beer right over here. Smooth. I'm thirsty. And again, yes. you can't have more than 36 ounces here. But that doesn't mean we can't go back to the port where they're serving the beer anyway and have some more beer. Stupid Alaskan distribution laws. We're going to finish a lot more Pokemon cards this cruise. You excited to finish Pokemon cards? None of you are going to get your Pokemon cards like I am. What? I can do a Pokemon. You can do, what is it? Uh, Three beers. No. Two in the pink, one in the, you can do the shocker. The shocker. Two in the pink and one in the stink. Yeah. Do you enjoy that, Chu? Uh, it's been a while. Okay. She said it out loud. We'll see you back in the port area. Finish my Pokemon card. Uh-oh. You didn't really finish your Pokemon no, card. No, I, oh, wait, I pick really it up. Did. Now, I am not allowed to drink more than 36 ounces of taste it, 36 ounces of beer. But we are going to break Teletubby tradition right now, all right? Yep, we are. You understand what Teletubby tradition is, right? Yep. We only go again and again once. Okay. Again, again. Where did the beer go? Uh, in my belly. Legally, yes. But you know what? Oh, chili dog! Oh. But legally, guess what you did? What? What did I do? You collected all your Pokemon, didn't you? I did! I did! Such a good little Asian Pokemon collector. I did! I did! And you know what we're going to do? We're going to use Scott and June to help us get extra Pokemons. Uh, you understand what I mean, right? Yes. Richie needs more than 36 ounces of beer to make his fat ass happy. <laughs> so, my little twinkie twinkie winky. Scott. Aww. Again, again. No, fuck oh, you. Sorry, sorry. Fuck you. There's too much gas in my stomach. The problem is, we gotta get out because we gotta get our shuttle back to the port. So we'll see you guys back in Ice Strait. We still got a couple more things to look at. And some chowder. Chowder, I love chowder. Is that an anal fisting joke when you yes. know I love chowder? I love chowder. Okay. The shit you can't do on your channel. Tomorrow, Scott is doing the Juno vlog. That's right, I am doing the Juno vlog. I can't talk about conspiracy theories. Well, that was spicy. I know. Mm. 
You like it? There's so much burping going on. If it's in one end and it's out the other. I gotta get outside. We get the bus. We'll see you back at Icy Straight or on the bus. We'll see. Gerbil Town. Gerbil Town. Bye. But somehow we're now in an actual school bus, am I right? Like we went from a somewhat looking school bus to like some actual, actual school, school bus. bus. I think they use this when school's out. Maybe. What day of the week is it today? Thursday. Thursday? Eh, maybe the kids are off for the summer already. Maybe. You know. I can't imagine what this sounds like in the in the the winter. Although it says it blocks the north wind, so you don't have the north wind. You're a frigid, aren't you? It's well, not cold not out here. It's 51 degrees, Scott. It's pretty cold. Does it ever get that temperature in Arizona? Uh, sometimes. In like January in the morning at like 3 a.m. But other than that, no. Well, we got a couple more things to see before we uh, head back to the boat because we're going to show all of Icy Strait that we can. Okay. We're going to ride the gondolas. We're going to go try some seafood stuff. Okay. Um, and then we're going to... Uh, Even though you said not to get seafood. Oh, no, no, seafood. I'm not getting seafood. Oh. I'm going to the seafood shack to get non-seafood, to get jambalaya. Oh, oh good, good chip, good chip. Yeah, yeah. I'm jambalaya? Oh, well, no, it was on the menu. Oh, wow. I was on the menu. Okay. We're going to give it a try. All right. We'll see. Well, look, we are now moving, headed back on that one and a half mile journey, which takes about six minutes on this bus. If you're to walk it, 35 minutes, 35, 40, 40 minutes. minutes. That's all I'm saying. Hey, Scott, you like Bill trying to be a YouTube channel? <laughs> I got so very lucky with one video where a woman fell off a horse once. Seriously, true story. It's called One Girl, No Horse. <laughs> Happened in Tijuana. Tijuana. One girl, no horse. Go watch Bill Zanetti YouTube. It's not very good. Right, so by the time we got back, the crab house is closed. I will say, um, yeah, realistically, the reindeer chili is the best thing you're gonna find here. Honestly, honestly, truthfully. Uh, maybe you can get the jambalaya if you want it, but seafood is tomorrow. Seafood is tomorrow, Juno. 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 You know it. You know it. Uh, seafood, beer, more beer, more beer, more beer, more beer. I gotta go win money in the casino tonight, but pay for all the seafood and beer tomorrow. Beer. But uh, we still got a couple more things to do. So uh, this is what this area used to look like. Right here. You can see the steamship and the Hunan. And Bill says that the evil, evil uh, environmental activists said they can't, uh, they can't fish here anymore, right? Tell the bullshit you read. They can fish, but they had essentially like a multi-million dollar fishing organization. Fishing and mafia? I, I didn't say that, you did. But anyway, they were essentially shut down. So. By who? I don't really know. Oh! Evil government organization. I like it. Nondescript even government organization. Okay, we move on. This is close. Let's go, Scott. Place your utensils in the tub or the trash station. Do not throw away. That's the crab crab crackers. Which, oh, uh, second door. Second door. Thank you. Second door on the right. All right. So yeah, we got our old uh, old docks for the cruise ship, and it's a lot quieter here now than it was before, isn't it, Scott? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. But uh, what have you been carrying around all day? Show the genus people. Could you have just bought that shit right now? Yes, I could okay. have. I'm just making sure, Scott. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna rub your retard in. Yeah. Okay. I just let a gerbil out. Oh, you let a gerbil out. Uh, just so the internet knows, when we fart, or we uh, pass a bowel movement, that we call funny. it a gerbil escaping. After Mr. Lemming Wings from South Park. Lemming Wings. We can't actually put that video in here without getting a copyright problem. But please go ahead and look up Mr. Lemming Wings from South Park. June, we're going to insert photo here, uh, video here. But you and your husband, with no ass, lo loves Bud Lights. Uh -huh. Just saw a whale exactly where I said you'd see a whale because they chum this. You come here right about dinner time. They got this whole little restaurant right here. And guess what you didn't have to do? You didn't have to sit on a miserable fucking boat for three hours okay. that's shaken more than our boat shook on the way from San Francisco. You're exactly right. Have you gone whale watching before? No. But you understand what whale watching is, right? Yes. And I, as we say on this channel, I, I should trademark it, right? Yes. Whale watching? That's some white people shit. Yeah. <laughs> we just stood here and saw them for free.
It's right there. So we got some reindeer chili because the chowda place was closed. Chowda. And Scott goes, do you think it tastes better than the other one? I go, it's, it's the same chili. So this is the, right where you could see the whales are right out there. It's, it's gotten, look, the sun's down. It's a lot a bit colder than it yeah, was. It is. It is. 45 minutes, in the last 45 minutes, it's that's probably true. dropped 15 degrees. Yeah. I mean, that's just. And it got windier too. So. And it got more windy. Well, also we left Hunan. Remember, where we were in that town has the mountains to protect from the northern wind. But um, this is the same reindeer chili as before, no onions. It's just gonna warm my ass up for the walk back to the gondola. Um, Scott gave a mic away, so we were down to one mic. <laughs> I'll get it back later. But we do have to ride the gondola. We're gonna ride it for a few times, because it's fun. I like free gondola rides, don't you? I do too. Because elsewise, we're just gonna go back to the ship and drink, which we're gonna do anyway. anyway. For, for tax on the dollars, right? Because we're in the U.S. port, yes, so you, right. you have to pay tax until we leave port. Tax or something like that. Yeah, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be buying some more expensive stuff, uh, so we'll, we'll, I'll see. Because I'm gonna, I think, tonight, do the whole drink menu at Red Frog. Uh-oh. Because I got the drinks, I'm not drink. You didn't I'm not had a single drink, drink on board the ship. Nope. But that's another video for tonight. Because um, I gotta sober up now, and how am I gonna sober up now? I want my chili back, chili back, chili back, chili back, chili back, chili back. I want my chili back, chili. Chili, reindeer inside, barbecue sauce. Chili, reindeer inside, got that cheese pool. That's like Scott. You didn't, this was not on camera, but earlier today. No wait, June's here. I, June, I gotta tell you what Scott did earlier today. What did he do? All right. Somehow, we're inside, right? We don't have a balcony or anything like that. We're inside on deck one. There's this fly flying around the cabin all morning, right? I tell Scott, I go, Scott, there's this fly, kill it. One swat, little Asian Miyagi. Like Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> Did Zanetti run away? Huh? Did Zanetti run away? I don't know. Weren't you with Zanetti? He was. He's gone. Oh. He's gone, and now gone away. He, he, he went gone. full words. Go. He's gone. Did he you ever get here? Leader. Damn, shoot. He was not the leader of the pack. Let's, it's let, reindeer. Let's let's try. make that very clear. It's Rudolph. He was not the leader of he the pack. He was not the leader of the pack. Okay. That's Mickey Mouse, who's the leader of the pack. <laughs> June, and, June, and, um, June and Brady didn't get to try reindeer chili earlier. Oh, there's a good cheese pull on that. You couldn't even tell it was reindeer. You can't tell one bit that that drink tastes like oh go ahead like go ahead oh okay no. that's amazing isn't it good it's like chili but that that's is, amazing that is, you believe it or not that's the only local wildlife that comes here is the reindeer on the island the fish shit all gets shipped to juno the commercial vessels that come from juno to fish this stuff yeah now, if you had fish hey look if you had that cat food that we had earlier at the the thing that might be local the thing is, with the volume they have to have here, yeah. they're not catching it off the coast of this little island. They're buying it from Juno. And my logic is that more, more seafood comes from Juno to New The seafood gets quicker from Juno to New York City than it does from Juno to here. Oh, wow. Because it's got to come on a slow boat. It's got to be packaged and all that. In Juno, they're just going to pop it on a plane and fly it to New York City. Yep. Boom. Yep, 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 you know, yep. or Seattle. So I think you're going to get fresher seafood in Juneau, which is three and a half hours away. Yeah. Which we're going to be in Juneau tomorrow. Tomorrow, yep. And 
that, you know, you want to stay tuned. That's going to be Scott's vlog tomorrow. Uh, Scott's in charge tomorrow. Oh, fuck. Did I really let an Asian woman drive my tour tomorrow? Drive my tour? <laughs> no. It's going to be on my channel. I mean, it's going to be on your channel. Family friendly. Why? Oh, yeah. You're going to drop the first F-bomb. Yeah, probably will. Yeah. I'm hanging around with you too much. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. my favorite word. That's your favorite word? Yeah. Well, guess what? I don't have a family-friendly channel, so... Yeah. Fuck, 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 As long as it's not in the first seven seconds, I can say it. Yeah. All right. We will see you on the gondola ride back towards Twix, our area we're going. I hate to keep hammering over the point. Do not go whale watching. What is that, Scott? Don't go whale watching. Well, what is it specifically? Some white people shit. Right some, oh yeah, some white people shit. Look, you're gonna go in the roughest boat you've ever been, and you're gonna see a couple fins. You can sit here for half an hour, see more fins than you see on whale watching. You know what it costs you? Zero dollars. Cost you three ninety-nine, or maybe, maybe a ten-dollar bowl of chili and a ten-dollar beer. So if you, you want to stay warm, uh, just saying. That chili's really good. But Scott, I mean, look how pretty this is. This is. This whole and a chance to see a whale too. I mean, you know. They, they do chum off of here, and you can see a whale. It's kind of yeah. cool. And me and Scott have the same whale clip because we stole it from Brady. It's okay. I mean, at least I've stolen it from Brady. But yeah. I don't know if Scott has Don't done go it whale yet. watching. Don't what? go whale watching. Don't go whale watching. Do you want to go whale watching later this cruise, Scott? Hey, I found one. Look. Oh, uh, I thought it was a big bear. I'm confused. Yeah, bear. Whale, oh, wait. Same it depends thing, when you know. I'm in the water or not, right? That's true. If, I'm in, if I'm almost submerged in the water, I'm a whale. If I'm only submerged to catch salmon, I'm a bear, right? Grrr. 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 But we got a gondola ride left. We do. This is our, a pretty walk, though. In our future, on a Doppelmeyer system. And look, Scott, just smile. Oh, look how pretty the walk look is. Look how pretty. We are heading back really to the ship. Though. It really is. Uh, we'll cover that on the ship. But we are at late sail today, so it's very hard to get food on late sail cruises because it's already past first seating dinner, yeah. and we are five yeah, minutes. Five minutes. From the beginning of second seating dinner, and there's still a couple hundred people yep. outside in Hunan, Alaska. Yeah, okay, you see where that boat is? They chum it. That little boat going right there. Oh, that yeah. little boat is where you want to watch for some whales. Why? Chum it. Because where we were at, they got a whale of a tail. Tell you, lad, it's a whale of a tail or two. Meow, 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 meow. You understand that if you saw my Keith Retz and Spalding video. But look, there is a whale. I see it right up there. It's an orca. He's an orca. He's an orca there. So we have an orca whale. This is just so much quieter now than it was hours ago, isn't it, Scott? Oh, <laughs> so night and day. No night pun intended. Night and day. We had to walk the trail earlier. We're going to take that gondola, the transport gondola. With no problem now. I might take it a time or two because I really love that gondola. I love, so my favorite ride at Disney is actually the gondola system. <laughs> and they have it here for free. Technically, it's free at Disney too. But we spent a lot of money in the port today. Well, not that, not that much. Not as much as going on a tour. And I think this is from some tour. It's a private food thing. I think they've decided if they include food with a the tour, they can charge $30 more for the tour. I'm just saying. That's the way math works. Hey, math Junior, and Brady. Stuff. Brady and June, you know what time it is, guys? Oh, gondola time! No, it's gondola time! Uh, yes, it is also in the last like hour, it has dropped 15 to 20 degrees out here, hasn't it? The wind yeah. is blowing like it. Well, because we were protected from the wind in Hunan, because it was protected from the north wind. This doesn't protect from the north wind, it doesn't have the mountains that protect from the north wind. But there's a Disney ship. That's a Disney, what do we say, Wonder? Wonder. That's the Disney Wonder. I wondered what it name, what its name was. Then I just looked on the side. Uh, well, Disney Wonder is leaving in, uh, <laughs> is leaving in 12 minutes ago. I wouldn't go on a Disney ship. They don't have a casino or a drink package on board. Oh, they're what's leaving the at actual, eight. Actual what? Disney's leaving, they're leaving at eight. They're leaving at 7:30. Oh wow. We got some fire over there. It's either the burning of Rome or fireball. Yeah, I think that's Disney employees coming up the thing to get on the Disney ship. But the good news is, unlike before, where the gondola ride was insane. Hey, Scott, nope. look at the line for the gondola ride now. No line for the gondola ride. You look guys at ready? this. Ready? I know. 
You got Brady and June waited in that line earlier. Yeah. No There's line. No line right now. You made us here by ten minutes by walking. I did, but we closed our rings and we worked off one of those beers. I mean, I chugged the beer in. We did. Eight seconds, but. Well, here we go. I worked off one of those beers. Here we go. Oh, I'm not gonna do this a couple times. I love gondola rides. Icy straight. It's wonderful. Here we go. I think it's just jump on in. Huh. Hop on in. I agree, Brady. Thank you. Oh, wait, look at what gondola ride we picked. 33. 33. Would you freaking know? Are you freaking kidding me? That's your number. Show a number. Holy. We were all 16 crap. coming over. Yeah, that's the age of consent in most of the U.S., but it's not 12. <laughs> the age of consent on MSC. There's a duck point bar. That's what we were going to say. That's the duck point bar we That's were in. That's the duck point bar we were in, in June. Oh, <laughs> <the thing. laughs> hey, June, are they collecting soda tabs for you? Probably. Because Scott said they were collecting them for the mentally retarded children. June's not a children. A child. A childed. She could have one inside of her. Or the no, doctor. The I doctor couldn't. did their job wrong, if you do. Yes. So, I will sue somebody. Oh, oh. It, it's an immaculate conception. Oh, you're the Virgin Junie. <laughs> it's the Virgin Junie. Yeah. But this was much easier than you guys waiting to get on before, isn't it? Yes, yes absolutely. No oh. lines, no waiting. No lines, no, no waiting. So no. this one, let's talk logistics. This one's free. This is a transport ride that gets you from um, one side to the other of Icy Strait. We left right there is where the Disney ship is, the original dock. Well, if we want to go back in time, the original dock is where I showed you the tenders docked True. Um, earlier. The first dock dock was over there. And they built a second dock, and they, they hired a company called Doppelmeyer. And do you know when these were built? This is a fun thing. Do you know when these were built and ready to go? This is not a joke. During COVID. These were ready to go April 2020. Y'all know what happened April 2020. Mm -hmm. China virus. A small little troll man named Anthony Fauci was working with the lab in Wuhan, China. And uh, yeah, we're not gonna go into, oh, it's my channel. It's my channel. I'm going to go over to no, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm not kidding. Uh, there's a reason Fauci's hiding now. Uh, but uh, you can see, this is the free ride. And they have a ride that goes up the mountain. $50. Fifty. Fifty. $50 to go up the mountain. You know what you see up on top of the mountain? Nothing. Snow. Snow. There's sometimes snow. Snow for the $50. No gift shop, no restaurant, no, no. nothing. No. It's just snow. Because you know the one in Juneau, there's a restaurant up on I top. know there's the one, and it's a lot cheaper than $50. That's a bunch of horse shit. You can say horse shit. It's my channel, Scott. I know. It's a bunch of horse say shit. what you want. Uh-huh. But this oh, is... But wait, why is it $50? Because um, they have to pay for something. No. Oh, what do you mean? They have the to docks? Pay for the, the port. Yeah, they have to pay for the docks. So they, they have to pay for all the money they lost for two years while they shut down the cruising system. Mm -hmm. That was some bullshit. Um, yeah. I always ask people, I say, if World War were to break out tomorrow, what World War number would it be, Brady? No, sweetheart. Try again. There Four. we go. No further comments on that. <laughs> But you know, if you have a virus that kills a lot of people, that's a bioweapon, and it gets released from the lab just for the memes, eee, that might be a war. Um, but you can see, this is the short gondola. It takes about five minutes. It's literally to link one dock to another. I do want to show you the other gondola and where it goes. We're going to take a look at it. We're not going on it. Uh, there's the green gondola, which is free, and the red gondola you have to pay for. This is cute. It's a transport gondola. They had to do it because guess what? If they didn't do it, and people wouldn't go over to the other side where the reindeer chili is and the brewery is and everything else and spend money. So, um, so Doppelmeyer, so Doppelmeyer, who makes these, these are actually ski gondolas, did a buy one, get one free deal. Basically, they bought the mountain one. And, uh, and this one was free. <laughs> this one was free. This was the, the buy one, get one free deal. So that's why this one's free. This one is the one that they have to use to get people pretty much they cut the tenders, and, it, and, and by adding a dock, a second dock, they had to add this. And they still are nowhere near paying off. Why they're charging $50 for that big one is because they're nowhere near paying it off. And they got to give a, they got to give, so let's talk shore excursions for a minute. Uh, depending on the operator of shore excursions, cruise lines take up to a 50% cut for sailing shore excursions. Wow. 
And if you buy it on Viator or Groupon or anything like that, they're taking up to a 50% cut too. So if you ever can, do yourself a favor. You know who's running the shore excursion. I'm saying like dog sledding, whatever. Call up the helicopter company that's running it. Call the dog sledding company that's running it. And here's the dirty secret. Tell them you're not coming on a cruise ship because they have a lot of contracts in place that say like, June and Brady are going on the train in Skagway. If you call them and you say, I'm a, tra I'm a cruise ship customer, they have to give you a different rate than if you call them and say, hey, I'm just driving into Skagway from Canada to see it. You know, I'm ride I want to ride the White Pass train while I'm there. They're going to give you a completely different rate because they have to, per their contracts, mm -hmm. only sell the cruise lines at a certain rate that makes the cruise line rate look attractive. I know that seems insane, but it also kind of makes sense. It that's, does. It does make uh, sense. That's like sounds. You know, that's, uh, so that, this is the other gondola. You see that one goes up to the top of the mountain there, the red ones. Uh, and that one's $50 to go to the top of the mountain. Bucks. What? To the top of the mountain, 50 bucks. Yeah, 50 right. bucks. I have been to the mountaintop. Whoa. I have been to the mountaintop. Come on. You didn't, you didn't say it loud enough to make people believe your religious self. I have been to the mountaintop. I have seen the tablets. And Joseph Smith, he brought upon them. And he said, I'm doing a Book of Mormon monologue. He said, these are the magic tablets that God won't let anyone else see. But hasa diva evil, why? God, those of you who get this joke, this is a dark joke. But hasa diva evil, why? Hasa diva evil, why? And congratulations. You've ridden with us on this entire ride over to here. I gotta shut this off and get off. Uh, but. Oh God, he put you down today. Hasadiva, evil wide. You don't know what that means, do you? He gave you syphilis, what we say. Hasadiva, evil wide. Hasadiva, evil wide. Okay, I'm gonna stop singing and get off this trolley. Tram right now. All right. Don't drink the Kool Aid. Don't drink the Kool Aid. I love the Kool Aid. The Kool Aid's delicious. And we are back at our cruise ship that we once left and I see a perfect spot for a thumbnail. So oh, yeah. uh, we'll end this video on the cruise dock in just a couple seconds time. So we're in the gift shop in Icy Straight Point and Scott says he's got something he wants to show me. I found your underpants. You found my underpants? What's it say? Great white fart. Uh, do they filter the farts out? I sure hope so. I, what are they charging for them? I they better be magic underpants. $27 for gerbil catchers. Gerbil catcher, shark. Gerbil cashers. Gate great way far. I only have, I only had one in dog beers. Yeah, interesting little things over at the uh, icy straight point Hunan, Alaska me? gift oh, shop. We can buy, oh, right in the way. we can buy all these. Nice. Gavin Lane. Doesn't oh, these are cute. Ruby Lane. Richard Lane, Richard Lane, Richard Lane. Preston Lane, Piper Lane. No, Richard. Ooh. Do they have no pants no. way? No pants way, not here. <laughs> but this is right outside the cruise ship in Hunan, Icy Straight Point, Alaska. All right, Scott, so let's wrap up the last, oh, when do we get off? We got off at two, it's, yeah, it's eight. So let's wrap up the last six, six hours. <laughs> hours here in Icy Straight Point, Hunan, Alaska. Look, remember when we got off hours and hours and hours ago? This was backed up as far as the eye could see. No one. Nothing. No. Nothing. 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 You know Russell Peters? Nothing. Nothing is coming. Nothing no, you don't know Russell. Coming. You know Russell Peters? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So all Asians know Russell Peters. Nothing coming. Nothing coming. Um, but yeah, I would say it's worth going down. I would say honestly, for five bucks, go downtown. Yes. I'm not saying to go to the Fisherman's Daughter and the Bear and the gift shop and all that. But Why just we go did, downtown. Go downtown. Yeah. Have three pints of beer. Then you're gonna find all these cards on the floor, right? Yeah, really, for real. And they have a extra pints. That's my card. Um, they have extra pints of beer. So these are Pokemon cards that people have abandoned. Yes. It's a cute little port. It is America's only private cruise ship port. Oh. Oh, we, so we said that hours ago. Oh, yeah, we did. I forgot. But this is Richard and... Scott. Richard from No Pants Profits and Scott from... Controversial Cruising. Reminding you that when you... Wear no pants, all you have left to lose is... is I get to close it now. Is your shirt. And keep a lookout for tomorrow because we're going to go out in Juno and Scott's got a street party and all that, a block party. I don't know if any of this is going to come to fruition, but guess what? If it fails, it's going to be on Controversial Cruising, not on No Pants Profits. That's right. So... 
from our now nice and straight point. Have a great one and say, don't Bye. lose your shirt. Bye.